Hey guys, it's Sabrina. So I look a little tired, I just woke up, but I wanted to film a video real quick before I get back into my MCAT studying. And I also wanted to wish you guys a happy New Year's Eve. Um, <clears throat> it went by so fast, like holy crap, like a week ago it was Christmas Eve and now it's New Year's Eve and tomorrow it's January 1st and we're starting a new year. So I kind of wanted to do what I got for Christmas because I'm a little late. I um, got this a week ago, but I wanted to do it anyway. And I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about like the new year, what I'm excited for. Um, what I learned in 2015 and just want to let you guys know what I have planned and what's going to go be going on in 2016 because I'm really excited for this year. Okay, so to get started, um, let's go over what I got for Christmas. So I got a lot of clothes this Christmas. Actually, all my presents are clothes except for one thing, uh, <laughs> which is fine because I actually need to clothes and I suck at shopping for myself, so I'm excited that I got clothes. A lot of these clothes I was there to see, so I know a lot of them, and we also got them from Forever 21 if you guys are interested in checking them out. The first shirt that I got, sweater, is this sweater that my mom got me, and it's really nice and soft and comfortable, and I just like the pattern of it as well. So it has this like crocheted pattern in the back and the front and then just like a normal pattern in the back. So I've been wearing this a lot. It's really nice and warm. Keeps me warm. Um, the next thing that I got is a sports bra and my sister actually has the same sports bra. I'm sorry, it has deodorant markings all over it because um, it needs to be washed. But <laughs> when I was trying it on, I got deodorant markings everywhere because that's my life story with clothes. I'm sorry if you ever find deodorant marked clothes, it's probably me. So this is what the back looks like. It's like a really cute, kind of sexy sports bra. I really like it a lot. Um, and I've been wearing this. So Alex and I have a matching one, which is really cool. It's really hot here right now because I don't know, the heater's on blast. I'm like sweating. Um, <laughs> I got this jacket also from Forever 21. And I was supposed to get it for Alex, but I really liked it. And I was like, bro, can, are you going to wear this? She's like, I don't know. I was like, OK, I'm going to just get it for myself. So. <laughs> Or she kind of, she bought it for me, I guess. I was like, I'm going to probably steal this from you, to be honest, because I like it a lot. So she was like, I might as well just buy it for you. So this is what it looks like. It's like an army green color. I love this color. And then it also has like an attached sweater to it. And I like this combination a lot. I've been doing it with a lot of my jackets in general. I'll do like a sweater, um, a hoodie, and then a sweater on top, or a jacket on top of the hoodie. So I like this a lot. It's one of my favorite combinations. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm getting this. So I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. I'm excited about it. Um, for my mom, I got another sweater. I like this one too. It's really nice and warm. And I just like the differing patterns. I like how shirts look nowadays. But like they just incorporate different parts to it, I guess. Not all the same. Um, it says Chelsea Market, New York. Always a good idea. <laughs> I wish I was in New York for New Year's. That is one of my like must-do, um, I guess, bucket list things. I want to go to New York for New Year's Eve and New Year's really bad and just go to Times Square and see all that. That would be amazing. So one day in my life I definitely need to do that. <laughs> and this is what it looks like front and back. Okay and then <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this but out in our vlogs from Vlogmas which by the way are done and I miss doing them so much. Sometimes I want to like pull out the camera and be like yo guys this is what we're doing today and I'm like oh it's not Vlogmas anymore. Um, I know you guys wouldn't mind if we did. These are um, this, <laughs> these are the workout pants that my sister got me. Um, and she got me these because she has tree trunk pants that kind of look like this. And I was always like making fun of them, but I secretly like them. So she got me some too. And mine are like blue and white, um, kind of like striped with gray. And I think they're so cute. And they also are fuzzy on the inside, which is absolutely amazing. These keep me so warm. I love them and they're so comfortable. So. They're super thick too. I don't think I've ever had leggings that are this thick. But I guess they're made for like running. I keep like tossing my clothes up onto my bed. Sorry guys. Um, this is the best though. I love, I live in sweatpants, especially since I've been studying and I don't go out of the house. And um, I look like a, like a ratchet every single day because I don't leave the house. Like nobody sees me. So I just, you know, I'm living the life. Um, so she got me sweatpants because she was like, I wanted you to have some sweatpants because I know you're going to be studying the entire time. And all I brought with me is sweatpants. I realized that I kind of need more normal clothes, but you no, know, it's a little too late now. I'm heading home in a week anyway, so it's okay. Um, these are also Mark New York, and they are so, so comfortable and so fuzzy on the inside. Oh my god, I love them. Um, and this is what these look like. They're gray, 
and um, I don't think I have a pair like this color. I have black and I have like a light gray and I have like a darker gray. So I'm just stocking up on the sweatpants. That's all I've been wearing. And then my mom also got me this shirt. It's a lavender. It's a really pretty color. Um, it has a cool like design right here. I like it. And this also continues down at the bottom and on the back side. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really pretty color. I think it looks really nice. Oh, by the way, have you guys noticed something? I actually dyed my hair and it's back to my natural hair color. Um, I thought it was time and also, um, everyone else thought it was time. <laughs> my mom was like, we need to dye your hair, Sabrina. I was like, okay, thanks mom. I see what you're trying to say. So we went, or she actually did it for me a week ago on Saturday. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It feels good to be back. I like it. I like it a lot. It's perfect for the winter, I think. I like darker hair for the winter anyway. And then lastly, I got a water bottle because I've been wanting a water bottle for so long. Alex has her cool Camelback water bottle. And now I can finally fit in because I have one of my own and she got it in my favorite color. Um, so that's really nice of her. And um, yeah, I really like it. I see, I see why people love these water bottles. They're a little hard to drink out of because you like pretty much have to bite off this thing to get out, get the water out. But you know, other than that, it's pretty great. Okay. So that is what I got for Christmas. Um, on another note, in a week from today, I, I think it's always been cool because I've always known like my birthday is a, two weeks um, after Christmas Eve and a week after New Year's Eve. I turned 20 and I am so excited and nervous at the same time. Um, I was talking to my dad, he's like, Sabrina, this is, this is it, you're officially a woman now. I was like, Dad, what? <laughs> he's like, you've been an adult but now you're a woman, you're in your 20s. I was like, okay, Dad. you're." for stressing me out. Um, and he's right though, I'm leaving behind my teenage years. I'm finally entering my 20s, which is the year of so many different changes, like a decade of everything. And I'm excited to see what this decade brings, I guess. So, you know, I don't know, I'm excited. Um, I'm also nervous though. <laughs> it's crazy growing up. Uh, I get excited for a new age, but at the same time, like I always am like, oh, I wanna be 21, and, oh, I wanna be 25, and I wanna be this and that, but I'm like, at the same time, I gotta enjoy being young because it's gonna go by quickly and it's already going by so quickly. It's crazy. Um, so speaking of that, 2016 is a big year for me. As you guys know from my vlogs and from so many videos that I've talked to you guys about, I'm actually currently studying for the MCAT and um, so far it's going pretty good. I think I've been improving on my practice test, so that's good. I do have to improve a lot though <laughs> by my test date um, if I want to get a good score, a good enough score to, um, I guess, apply and be competitive. So I've been hardcore studying for that every single day for like eight hours or so. And um, it's been going good, I think. I just need to focus a lot on physics, which has been my trouble. I haven't improved in physics at all. But 2016 is a big year because I applied to med school in the summer too. And um, I'm trying to do early decision, which means I get to find out if I get in or not. On Octo in October instead of waiting all the way until like January, February, or April, whenever else they like to send out their, um, I guess their decisions. But what this means is that I can only apply to one school and I'm applying to my school actually has a med school, which is super nice and I, that's why I went here anyway. I didn't want to leave. I want to stay here. <clears throat> and that's why we decided um, from the beginning why Alex and I wanted to go to college here because we have med school right here and it's way easier and it's way cheaper. So. Hopefully that works out. Um, I guess I'll let you guys know. Depends on my MCAT score. Um, hopefully I do well the first time and I don't have to take it a second time. Most people are not taking the MCAT this early. I don't know anyone else who is actually. I had one friend who was going to do it but then he told me that he switched his MCAT date because he didn't study. He didn't feel like he was studying enough and he's like going to take it in May now so it's all me alone by myself. So I just hope I I hope it's enough time. That's all I hope. Like I hope that I, this is enough time to get everything that I need to get done and study enough. Because um, during the school year, it is so hard to study, and I notice that like you don't have time because you have to study for other classes. And um, so there's that. Um, what else? I guess in 2016 I'll be starting my senior year, not right, not right now in the fall. So that'll be exciting. I'll be starting my last lap of college. It's crazy how time flies. As for New Year's resolutions, I actually don't do those because, um, I don't know, I feel like you can change whenever you want, not just because it's a new year. So I have that mindset that um, even though 
it's a new year. Um, I'm probably not going to change too much, honestly. Like, I'm probably going to be the same person next year, and there's not much I want to change, I guess. So I don't really have New Year's resolutions. If you guys do, you can comment down below. Um, or if you guys have anything that you'd like to change, I guess, at all, or if you're what you want to work on this year, then let me know in the comments below. I'm interested in hearing your guys' New Year's resolutions. But I think that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a life update. I um, wish you guys a happy new year. I hope 2016 is an amazing year, and I hope it's your year. And um, I learned so much, so much in 2015 about myself, and um, I got did a, <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes, and I learned from all of my mistakes. And um, no, it was a year of adventure. It was a beautiful year. I got to go to Barcelona with my best friend. Um, we had so much fun together, and it was one of the most amazing memories ever. Um, I got to do some fun things, like um, I got to go on spring break with my ex-boyfriend and I got to go to Hawaii with him and that was great. I got to see my friends getting engaged and it was a good year. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what I want and what I'm looking for out of a relationship, out of life. Um, got more motivated towards medicine. It just got me more motivated and excited about medicine and about the future. So. I learned a lot in 2015 and I'm so excited to see what I'm going to learn in 2016 and who I'm going to be a year from today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I um, hope you guys had a wonderful year and I hope 2016 is again even better than 2015. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Happy New Year. Bye guys.